Do you think your trading skills measure up to the pros? On June 16th, P3 Live in the Streets Options Profits are offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to test your mettle in a mock trading competition on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Following presentations from T3 Live's Scott Redler and the street Skip Rashke, receive a guided tour of the historic floor and join the traders for a cocktail hour. Tickets are available now. Get yours before they're all gone. Call 888-998-3548 or visit t3live.com. All right, before we tell you where to put your money, let's tell you where definitely not to put your money. So let's hit on banks. Really dragged the markets down yesterday. If you look at the XLF, down almost four, three and three quarters of a percent. You know, we have low unemployment, less spending, less loans, more defaults on mortgages and credit cards, manufacturing sector in the weeds. They're not going to be asking for loans. The yield is under three percent, so banks are not making that much money on their loans. What, no good news there. Is the chart telling you the same kind of thing? Yeah, the chart's been telling us this in the banks for over a year. And we've tried to make excuses to buy the banks, but all they've been is little tiny bounces. Even when Deb was on on Tuesday, you know, the banks are up, and I'm like, I would only treat it as a bounce, look for resistance, and then get out and get short. So if we take a quick look here, we've got to go with Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs has had a bearish pattern, which we tried to show you as well, you know, over the course of the past few months. And when it broke, it just keeps going lower. Right now, you had a little bit of a bounce, pwned down there. If this breaks 135, Goldman Sachs is going to be in a bit more trouble again. But Goldman Sachs has been in trouble for a while, <laughs> but can we just bring up J.P. Morgan real quick to see if it says the same kind of thing? Well, J.P. Morgan's supposed to be the class of the exactly. sector, and lately, it's getting thrown out the window just like the rest of them. So right now, it tried to hold the 200-day. It couldn't. It broke below. That is not a good sign. I would say next area to watch, J.P. Morgan, will be right around this 40, so it still has you know, about two points to go, a decent percentage, but this one looks like it's about to make lower lows, so hopefully it holds around that 39 to 40. That's when we'll look to see if we get a tradable bounce there. And another weak leader, <laughs> right, uh, oh. retail. If you look at the index RTH, I was talking to Jim Cramer yesterday on video, and he was like, who wants to buy retail at $4 gasoline? We were talking about this on off camera too. Is that I'm arguing for some fundamental support for like a Macy's that's delivering solid, awesome numbers, and you're saying who cares? The chart <laughs> still sucks. <laughs> right. Like uh, the market is forward looking, and retail was strong. And I remember a month ago when the market was showing some signs that we were breaking lower. You're like, oh, but retail is great. I'm like, well, we better watch this ascending channel in RTHs because yeah. if it breaks that uptrend, it could be in trouble. And since then, technically, you know, the market's showing that consumers are running out of money. So if you look at RTHs here. You know, this was that ascending channel to the upside that once it broke right here, this was your exit. So that's why you have these rules. And now it just made a lower low. This retail group looks poorly. And you want to talk about Macy's? You know, they might have a good fundamental story here. But here's your reversal top. Mm -hmm. Here now is a potent down day into support. This thing breaks below 28. You could see a gap fill down to 27 pretty quick. And then talking about sectors that are that uh, consumer spending money, consumer staple stocks are, are holding up relatively well. If we look at the XLP, it's holding up. But to me, that's not a sign that the consumers are spending. It's a sign that investors are freaked out and they're <laughs> turning to yield in a safe place to stash their cash. Yeah. So I would also watch this area because, again, I'm a, I'm a believer that you need cash when the market's in correction, not mm -hmm. looking for a sector just to park money. You know what? Park it in your mattress. It's safer. What's the symbols of that? <laughs> XLP. <laughs> XLP. So you let's see. so much your mattress. As, as long as it's still in an uptrend, it's fine. But right now, look what you have a high, a lower high, pretty potent down day. This is already broken. You know, this ascending, you know, channel or uptrend. Here's your retest. This starts breaking this area. I don't think this group's going to be holding up very, you know, very well either, and it could get lower. So I would just be careful.